Welcome to the TwinStim 2 Digital TENS and Muscle Stim Device Training Module 1 Introduction and TENS Applications. In this training module, we're going to cover the introduction, the device overview, preparing the device for training, programming features, how to program the device, general programming functions, what is TENS, pulse rate and pulse width, timer controls, TENS applications and modes, general explanations, and a little bit of information about pain and TENS theories. Please use the pause button to pause certain slides and I'm going to ask you to pause the slideshow presentation from time to time because I'm not going to read you every slide. In certain slides I'm going to say just pause and read this and then unpause when you want the training module to move forward. Estimate about 20 minutes. Please have the device ready to use during training. Okay, federal law restricts this device to sell by or on the order of a physician. This training module is for educational purposes only and is not to be meant to be taken in any manner as medical advice. Please pause this training module and read our website disclaimer before proceeding. And please consult your prescribing physician for specific settings on this device for your treatment. Settings, usage, specifics, and electrode placements. So pause this screen and read this and then move forward. Device overview. The Twin Stem 2 is a digital multifunction TENS and muscle stem device. It's digital and this is the digital screen it has a protective barrier over it if the device if the, for any reason this comes off just put a little moisture on the screen and see if it can get the suction back on don't peel this off or let children peel this off this device runs off a 9 volt battery we provide you only the highest quality name brand products energizer with two no memory energizer rechargeable batteries this is a dual energizer battery charger this is a two channel device channel one channel two one lead wire here one lead wire here we do give you a backup set these are the amplitude or intensity dials, and this is the safety cover to make sure you don't bump the dials once you're, you're in the middle of a treatment. If you open the front of the device, you'll see the programming command center right below the screen and a little menu or directions on what, the, what buttons are for what. We'll go over these buttons in more detail. This is a very durable device. It does come with a very hard rubber panel on the sides to protect it in case you drop it. Please don't use these belt clips. Because once in a while, you'll, this can come loose and fall off, and you won't notice. You'll lose, you'll lose your device, or a lead wire gets snagged on a chair, a doorknob, or something. It pulls the device off your person, falls, hits the ground, and can break. We provided you with your package a fanny safety travel pack. You put the device in the fanny sa safety travel pack, and the lead wires come out. They just go under a garment or shirt, and that way you can have some privacy. People don't really know what you're doing, and the device won't fall out and keeps your you know, you know your unit safe and secure and in worst case scenario you might yank a lead wire loose or something but the device won't fall and hit the ground you can view or print the manual instructions with pictures or other information in the document section of our website print the instructions with pictures so you can take notes and scribble based on treatment settings that you might like or not like or what your therapist or clinician or prescribing physician want you to have This is a visual and audio tutorial, and again, you can pause it to, co to cover the device supplies and its purpose. With your device in hand, let's prepare the device for use. So basically, you're going to undo two lead wires, and you can take the connector base, and you're going to insert it into the channels one and two. And you're going to open up a supplies package of electrodes, and you're going to get four electrodes out. Now, don't pull on the lead wires. Only pull gently, push gently on the connector base into the lead wire jacks. Make sure they're securely attached by pushing down until the lead wire feels firmly inserted. Turn down the amplitude dials before changing lead wires or adjusting lead wires because once in a while, if a lead wire gets loose, then if you push it down, you can shock yourself because you might have turned up the amplitude thinking that it wasn't on very high, but really it was a disconnected lead wire or an electrode. So turn down the amplitude intensity dials when you're adjusting electrodes or lead wires. Make sure charge battery is inserted correctly and turn your device on. You're going to take the two pins from one wire, attach them to the pigtail section and the other two pins from the other wire and touch the pigtail section and then I want you to we're going to practice settings on a non-injured area so let's start with your left leg or your right leg and non-injured area your thigh so take one lead wire with two electrodes and put it on the inside of your thigh I'm going to do my left leg and then take the other lead wire two lead two electrodes on the outer part of your thigh and again I'm doing my left leg so now we're going to open up and just quickly and briefly go over the programming center programming center you have mode set or selection button and then moving up or down the parameters in a setting so mode settings moving up or down the parameters in a setting so you can push the mode button so we're gonna turn the device on your electrodes are attached to your thigh turn both amplitude dials on just keep them on zero power but at least they're on you can see the screen so now there are five digital tens modes and two digital muscle stem modes we're gonna cover in this training module the, the tens modes Tens modes are burst, normal, modulation, strength duration one, and strength duration two. So you're going to look at the screen and you're going to see 
the mode button. You're going to push the mode button, and you're just going to do this a couple times. You're going to see B, N, M, SD1, SD2. So if you push the mode button five times, you're going to go through those five pain modes. Push the mode button again, you're going to see an S for synchronized and A for alternating. But we're, we're covering the five pain modes. So when you're in one of the five pain modes, you're going to see tens to the left of mode. So that's the mode button. You push the mode button. You'll see burst, normal, modulation, strength duration, one or strength duration, two. And it's going to say tens on the screen. And you're going to, when you've decided which one of these five modes you want to be in, you're going to hit the setting button and select the mode. Once you're in the mode, then the setting button also allows you to scroll between different settings within that mode. So first you're selecting the, the mode, and then you're scrolling through the different settings within that mode. Once within a chosen mode, you can press the set button to scroll through the different programmable options or settings. The screen will show you which programmable setting or option you have on the screen at the moment. You cannot adjust that setting unless it is flashing. So, in the tens, you can have, you can change the pulse width, the pulse rate, or the timer when you're in one of these five modes. So let's go over this. You may so right now we're gonna we're, let's pick M for modulation. So push the M button. I mean push the mode button until you see M. When you see M on the screen, you're gonna hit set. So now you're inside the modulation mode. We're gonna change pulse width. So you see pulse width, and the number's flashing. So as long as the number's flashing. Turn the pulse width up to 150. If it stopped flashing and you didn't get to 150, then push the set button again until you get back to pulse width and then make it at 150. Then hit set. And pulse rate, let's go down to 10. So we're going to have a pulse rate of 10 and a pulse width of 150. Hit set. Now the minutes is the, the timer is flashing. The little minutes number is flashing. You see a little clock on the screen. So you're going to hit that and just up it to 20 and then hit set. So now basically you've set the pulse width, the pulse rate, the pulse width and the pulse rate and the timer. And we're just going to practice this. When you when you set select when you select settings inside a mode, you have to give it a few seconds to to um, set. Sometimes it's up to five seconds. And then when, now we're going to do a treatment. So you've got one lead wire, two electrodes on your inner thigh, one lead wire, two electrodes on your outer thigh. You're going to turn both intensity dials up. Now, if, it, if you don't feel any increase in, in power, turn up both amplitude dials off, turn them back on, and then start to go up. And you should start to feel you know, sensation. Okay, so now you've you, you've got some treatment going on your thigh, and it's and we're going to continue on. So you'll you'll feel what this feels like, and we'll discuss each each parameter. So, what is tens and how does it work? Well, basically, tens stands for transcutaneous through the skin electrical battery operated nerve conveys impulses to the brain through the spinal cord. Stimulation stimulates soft tissue, nerves, muscles. Go ahead and pause this screen and read the rest of this slide if you're interested in getting the, some basic information on tens. Now, what is pulse rate or hertz or pulse frequency? This is important for you to know. Hertz, a little hz, you'll see when you're in the rate, a little symbol hertz, is the international abbreviation representing cycles per second, also referred to as pulses per second. So it can be really fast pulses or slow pulses. An impulse is a conductive wave of excitation moving over nerves or muscles. So basically, pulse, pulse, pulse and you can have very low pulses per second maybe two three four in this case ten or you can have super fast pulses like up to 150 pulses per second and your nerves can tell the difference so in this case you've got right now a, a treatment going on on your thigh and it's about ten pulses per second and then you, since you're in the modulation mode it's actually modulating a little bit up and down a range the pulse width is at 150 so what is pulse width that's pulse duration basically you'll see width on the screen and you can go up to 300 or 300 thousandths of a second. Basically, it's not how many pulses per second, but how long each pulse exists. And it's measured in thousandths of a second. So 300 pulse width is 300 thousandths of a second, or about a third of a second. Usually, the way it works is the wider the pulse duration, the stronger the stimulation for any intensity. 
by using a combination of intensity, that's the amplitude dials on top, and the pulse duration, you can basically be capable of stimulating different groups of nerve fibers. So think about it like this. Think of a massage. If you were going to get a very fast karate chopping massage, okay, if you were chopping up vegetables really fast or getting a karate chopping massage, you don't want it to be too hard. You want it to be super fast and distracting to your brain from to distract your brain from the from the pain signals. But you don't want it to be really hard, otherwise it'd be like getting beat up. On the other hand, if you want a strong, hard, slow massage, maybe a deep, hard massage, you want it to be very slow. So it's going to be slow, relaxing, deep. So you basically think of pulse rate and pulse width is a combination. You're either going to have a really fast rate, meaning super fast pulses, 150 pulses per second, but each pulse is very is not very strong. In this case, we have it at 150, about halfway strong. Or you can have just a couple pulses and really, really strong. So usually it's a really high width, low rate, or high rate, low width, by changing the pulse rate and width while you're practicing on your leg or your thigh muscle, your large muscle group, you'll get an idea of what these sensations feel like. Now the timer mode basically, and we've already set that, is you're going to push the mode button. You've selected the mode you want to be in. You're hitting the set or selection button and until you get to the the timer where this number is flashing and it, it basically it's it goes from 1 to 15 minutes and 1 minute increments then five minute increments to 60 and then C is constant two dashes means the device stays on until the battery dies or you turn it off okay so now tens has five programmable modes burst normal modulation strength duration one and strength duration two now right now we're in modulation but I'm gonna briefly go over burst normal modulation strength duration one and strength duration two and what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to practice burst, practice normal, practice modulation, practice strength duration one, and practice strength duration two on a large muscle group like we're doing right now. Not the injured area. We don't want to aggravate the injured area, make it sore until you figure out what you think you might like, and then conservatively do it at a, do it on the treatment area. So burst, burst basically has a burst rate of a half of a hertz to five hertz or pulses per second. And the pulse width is adjustable from 50 to 300. And this mode is used to initiate to initiate endorphin release in your body even after treatment ends. It puts bursts of current into your nerve pass. It's believed in the burst. <coughs> Excuse me. It's believed in the burst mode that if people aren't really. It, it's been explained that in the burst mode, it can help your body release endorphins as a natural kind of pain relieving chemicals your body releases so like if you did 20 30 minutes of burst treatment and then you turn the device off you might have four or five or six hours of endorphin pain relief in your body doesn't work for everybody but you can try it burst is a, basically a finite series of pulses followed by a pause or interval burst so you're gonna put this on your body and practice burst for a while you can pause this tutorial and just go in and change the mode to CB hit select inside change the parameters a little bit on the rate and the width and the timer and then turn the device up or turn it off and then turn it back on and see what burst feels like. Normal mode or constant. The pulse rate and the pulse width are adjustable but once you've set them they don't change. In other words if you've selected a pulse width of 300 it stays at 300. If you've selected a pulse rate at 10 it stays at 10. These settings don't change. They're normal or constant. The constant mode is also the one tens mode that you might use as a, in, in the muscle stimulate as a muscle stimulation to try to fatigue muscle spasms where you might put two pads on a muscle that's spasming turn it up and contract it for 10 minutes until the muscle exhausts and quits spasming the modulation mode which we're doing a training on right now is a combination of pulse rate and pulse width modulation the pulse rate is and width are automatically varied in a cycled pattern Pulse width is decreased by decreased by 50% from its original setting in a half a second, and then the pulse rate is decreased by 50% from its original setting in 0.5 seconds. So the total cycle time is one second. In this mode, you can adjust the rate from 2 to 150 and the pulse width from 50 to 300. So you might go 2 on the rate and 300 on the width, or 150 on the rate 
50 to 100 on the width. And then this device will go up and down a little bit within a range on its own. This is one of the most common pain modes because it helps reduce a combination where your body gets used, gets used to the same stimulation over time. Again, pause this slide and, pra and practice on modulation, changing the pulse rates and the pulse widths. Now, strength duration one and strength duration two basically consists of automatic modulation intensity and pulse width in 40% range. Basically, what this means is that once you set the pulse rate and the pulse width, then the width is going to decrease and the intensity, almost the amplitude dials on top of the device are going up. And then when the width increases, the amplitude or intensity dials on top of the device are going down without you having to change anything. It's going to do it in a 40% range. So you can change the rate from 2 to 150 and the width from 50 to 300. And then as it adjusts the width, increasing, it decreases the amplitude and vice versa. And you're just going to have to practice this on a good muscle group like we're doing right now in the modulation mode to really see what this feels like. Strength duration 2 is the same as strength duration 1, except it's a 70% modulation. So again, pause this screen, change, turn the device amplitudes down, change the mode to strength duration 2, change the settings, pulse rate, pulse width, timer, and get an idea of 5 to 6, 7 minutes what this feels like. So you're going to practice burst, normal, modulation, strength duration 1, and strength duration 2 on the same muscle that we're training on right now. Again, in our case, we're just using modulation. But you can pause each one of these screens, these slides, and practice for a little while with your device. Now, what kind of massage do you prefer at the moment? Basically, a high pulse rate, low pulse width is like a fast but not too hard karate chopping massage. Or imagine someone take talk, so imagine somebody talking really rapidly or fast at the same time someone else is talking real slow or methodically. Your brain will focus on the person talking fast. So if you have pain traveling to your brain and then you start having a super fast, distracting, carotid chopping type massage from your TENS device, it's going to distract your brain. Low pulse rate, high pulse width is like a slow, hard, deep massage, which will be calming and relaxing and helping promote circulation and still distract you from your pain. You can also have the pulse rate and pulse width meet somewhere in the middle. And you're going to talk to your doctor or your therapist or clinician if they have the suggestions for TENS. Acute pain acute is sudden, severe, and of short duration. Chronic is constant pain that continues for months or years. And you can pause this slide to just kind of go over what pain is and how a TENS unit works regarding pain. Basically, we're putting pain signals in your spine traveling to your brain. And then you can adjust the volume and the speed so that your brain is more distracted by the TENS signals than maybe the pain signals. That might be pain, and so if you turn this one up super loud and maybe really fast, it would over, it would it would drown out this one over here. So chronic pain can be physically and mentally de debilitating. Popular tense theories: the gate control theory and the endorphin release theory. Please pause this slide right now and just read the gate control theory and the endorphin release theory to explain how tens units affect the nerves and your brain. But everybody's heard the story where somebody got shot or bit by a shark and they didn't even know they got shot or bit until they looked down and, and saw blood and then they realized they were shot or bitten. Then of course the pain goes gets overwhelming. Well what happens is the way it's been explained to me is that when you have a trauma you have so much pain sensations all at once that it trips the switch in the, in the gate in your spine and, we're, and, and, and no, no pain signals get to your brain. But eventually it, it re adjust the circuit and then you know you have pain. Endorphin release is certain types of currents, pulse rates, bursts and such can cause the release of a natural morphine like substance that block pain messages in your body. So TENS is non-invasive pain management tool and it does really help reduce pain medications to, for some people. If you have any questions please call us or email us. Again if you have any questions please call us or email us. It is going to be up to you to decide which of the five pain modes works the best for you don't just pick one that you like and think that's the best one. Talk to your clinician that prescribed the device, your treating therapist, but also practice all five pain modes. Burst, normal or constant, modulation, strength duration one, strength duration two. Practice them on your leg. Practice them using the different parameters of high rate, low width, high width, low rate, um, things like that. And then if you want to, you can go to our website and get some additional information. In a normal place, in, in a normal situation, you you kind of put the electrodes 
along or on the pain path. So where the pain is traveling up your spine to your brain, the pain path, it's common to put the electrodes on or along the pain path. And when you turn the device up, you don't, you know, you do it where it's comfortable and not too much. And you always want to start off conservative. Thank you and have a nice day.